Hi guys, quick video about how I build my own 22 kilowatt charging station. We have an electric vehicle which we need to charge every day and I wanted to build a solution where I can charge it faster. The problem is however in order to charge faster the electric vehicle um, needs 400 volt three phase AC but the electricity that we get into our house is only three phase 230 volt based on the IT network. So the obviously the solution is to use a step up transformer. So you can buy finished step up transformers which are especially suited for this kind of application but they're really really expensive and I didn't want to spend all that money. So I, I thought I would buy a second hand transformer which is uh, used and build some circuitry around that to make this all work. So I'm, today I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's see, here is my charging station. Down there we have the transformer and let me just try to zoom in on that. So this is a three phase isolating transformer and since we're building a 22 kilowatt charging station we needed at least that amount of capacity and this is a 25 kVA transformer. The important thing is that you ha because I'm going from an IT network to a TN network that is, is a transformer of type T D Y N. That basically means that on the primary side you have a delta wiring and on the secondary side you have an I wi uh, wiring and with a neutral output. So that's important. Then we have on the primary side we have uh, the uh, wiring ratio such that uh, you can put in 230 volt and then you get out 400 volts on the secondary side. Um, this thing weight weighs about 170 kilos and here are some pictures of me trying to unload that thing. Okay, well then I thought we have a look at how such a transformer works internally. I found this drawing on the internet which looks very similar to how the transformer I'm using works. Um, don't mind the figures here on the right side, those voltages are different for the transformer I'm using. So, on, but the important part is it shows the delta on the primary side and the Y configuration on, this, on the secondary side. So on the primary side you come in with your three phases and they are wired up in this delta configuration and then there's the magnetic uh, core in the middle and then on the right side you have this Y configuration and that means uh, you have in the middle the possibility to get out a neutral and that's exactly what I needed. I needed a four wire output three for the three phases and the fourth is the neutral wire. So when you measure the voltage between the phases directly then you will measure 400 volts but if you measure between a phase and a neutral then you'll get 230 volt. But there's one problem if you hook such a beefy transformer up to your house electricity then those coils on the primary side they have almost no resistance and they act like a short. So until the magnetic field is established in the beginning when you're starting it up there is huge inrush current and that inverse current basically causes so your fuses to blow. So what I needed is some sort of soft start mechanism. So I, I built that and a way to do that is to, to basically start your transformer through some resistors and after a few milliseconds then those resistors can be bypassed so that the that transformer is operating through through the, the uh, directly and not through the resistors. So let me show you how I did that. This is the schematic that I've drawn in KiCad, which represents the entire charging station. Um, so in the middle here, you have the transformer, which is converting from 230 to 400 volt, and down here I'm also. Uh, I've drawn in a single phase 230 volt output socket, which is always on. It's basically not part of this 400 volt charging station, but it's the slow charging port. But anyway, let's focus on the 400 volt chargers. And all the circuitry which is in front of the transformer 
is the is to control the transformer, switch it on and off, and to be able to soft start it. So the way this works is that uh, on the left side you have the three phases coming in, and as soon as this first contactor here is switched on, then current will start to flow towards the second contactor, which is my soft starter. And but this guy is still switched off. So what will happen is that electricity first starts to flow through my resistors up here and bypass the second contactor and then into transformer. And but after some time, um, as you can see, the second contactor is also connected um, to the input. So after some time, this secondary contactor will also switch on. This takes about, let's say, 10 milliseconds. And after this time, then the current can flow directly through the second contactor and all the resistors up here bypassed. So in other words, when current comes in here, it goes through the resistors during the first 10 milliseconds and then those are bypassed by the contactor. That's the, basically the idea of soft starting the, the transformer. And the primary contactor is, uh, is controlled by this time relay up here. So when I press a push button, I activate the time relay and this basically and here's a self latching circuit, which basically keeps the transformer or the charging station on and I set it to four hours. So it will be on to four hours and then it will disable itself. Um, for protection, you see two thermal fuses. So those are one time cutoff fuses, which will activate once a certain temperature is reached. So I'm using 77 degrees thermal fuses. So just in case this contactor doesn't work and doesn't actually bypass the resistors after some time, um, those resistors will heat up pretty quickly and this thermal fuse will then blow and basically disable the first contactor and basically switch off the entire charging station. So I built in this as an extra mechanism to pre prevent failure. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So now we're back outside and let's have a look at how everything is put together. So down there is the transformer and but let's look at at the start and you can see this gray cable here it's basically a, a 16 square millimeter three phase cable which um, carries the, the in, which is the input and goes into this box and in this box I basically have a split um, which um, goes to this blue socket, which is the single phase 230 volt, is my always on blue socket, slow charge socket. With, and here you can see uh, there's a circuit, radar, circuit breaker for 32 ampere in, in front of that. But um, after the split, and there goes a cable down here into my control and soft start box. And, and out of that comes the input cable to the transformer. That transforms it to 400 volt, and there's the output cable um, there, and it goes into that box, and there is uh, another 32 ampere circuit breaker and an earth fault switch, and that goes into that socket. So let's have a look inside this uh, soft start box then, and how that is built up. There we go, and as you can see, um, here are my resistors. So what am I actually using as a resistor? Those are four water boiler heating kettle elements. So each of them is 2000 watt, so that's like 20 27 ohms. But if you put two of them in parallel, you'll get like 13 ohms. And I have four of them, as you can see in my schematic earlier. And those are connected to the secondary contactor. And this is the primary contactor, and this is my 
a timing relay module which keeps the transformer on for a certain amount of time and switches this off automatically. I've set it to four hours right now. And here you can see, let me try to zoom in a little bit on that. I've attached the thermal fuse, so if the heater elements actually develop any heat, then this will blow the thermal fuse, and there's another thermal fuse uh, down here, just to make sure that nothing overheats uh, there either. Well, there you go, that's my 22 kilowatt charging station. Didn't cost me that much money at all. Get hold of a used transformer, two contactors and four water boiling um, heater elements which you can use as a soft start resistors and some buttons and some cabling of course. So let's see if it actually works. Yes, you can hear the noise of the transformer, it works. Perfect. Bye.